Hi Cobra enthusiasts, this is Nick from Acton Custom. I just got done putting together some of our hoses that connect the master cylinder reservoirs to the master cylinders. Um, this is what you get when you order them from us and you can see we've done a fitting with the inverted flare female and the 7 16 thread this end of it screws directly into your master cylinder and it has the advantage of having a very low clearance or a low profile from the master cylinders to keep it away from the side pipe exhaust systems on these cars so you can connect that to your master cylinder after you've got your master cylinder reservoirs mounted up to your inner fenders you can well you're going to want to remove the field attachable fitting off the end of your hose this is a right hand thread on this part this is a left hand thread so to screw it off you will screw it off with the uh, left hand direction for a thread righty loosey for a change so Having connected this end to our master cylinder, we can connect our master cylinder reservoirs to our inner fenders. We can line up the hose with the end of the fitting where we're going to cut it off. You can use your cutoff method of choice, wrapping it in tape, either hacksawing it through, cutting it off with a cutoff wheel, uh, whatever you're doing to cut it off. I actually use these on braided lines um, for cloth braided and for stainless braided lines. These are fairly short money from Summit Racing and these have the advantage of cutting the hose and crimping the hose together at the same time uh, when you're cutting them to length and I don't even use tape to wrap the ends on this because this actually pinches it together instead of splaying it apart on the ends. So that's a handy little tool for me. Another handy tool is the uh, AN or the uh, hex jaws. These are magnetic. They slip into your vise and these are good for holding these fittings either that way or that way. And I'll use stuff like that in the vise to um, push the push or screw the hoses uh, into the fittings when they're held in the vise with that kind of arrangement. Uh, again, once you've laid this out, cut it to length, um, make sure when you're assembling these lines up, now we're ready to put this on, the left hand thread, either mark with tape or some other method uh, how far this has got to screw onto the end of the hose. We screw that onto the end of the hose again remembering that's a left hand thread and that takes some force to put that on there and we can either push up to our tape or we can check with a punch or something or a light in the end and make sure we've got the hose screwed up as far as it'll go into the fitting at that point i'll take a punch with a little taper on the end i'll push that down into it open the hole up and then I'm ready to screw this part of the fitting into it. Screw that all the way in until it is down touching against it. A little WD-40 or something is pretty good to help with either the hose assembly to the ferrule or for the fitting into the ferrule itself. And at that point, this is made up and ready to connect to your master cylinder reservoirs. But that is the test. After you've made your link line to length, what should you always do with a line? You should blow it through from both directions, make sure there's no debris of any kind on the inside of it. Uh, having done that, we're ready to install this in the car, and this is now just a bolt in, and it screws to the bottom of your master cylinder reservoirs. Thanks for watching, and be safe as you're assembling things like brake systems on your car.